Hello guys, Jack from Foxtech. Today I'm going to show you our new Nimbus V2. This is a new version Nimbus V2, and the main feature we upgrade is actually the cute rotor part. And you can see we made a new carbon fiber plate, the face station part, and also a very beautiful aerodynamic cover for it. So no more wire exposed exposing outside, and uh, also to make the hole looking much better than before. And also here, we have a newly upgrade the battery house wiping system, and this is the PG20. It's up to 2,000 watt, and it can hot swipe battery just in the air, meaning you can use two batteries, one for taking off and landing, and the other one just for cruising like the fixed wing. So in this way, the flying time can be greatly enhanced up to 60% than before. Okay, as the Nimbus is the tricopter vehicle, let me show you how it works. First, and in this way, the plane is flying in the air with only the two motors spinning, and then it, the tail motor then stop, just to fly like a normal fixed wing. And during takeoff and landing, like this. All three motors spoon spinning just to land and take off like a, a like a multi-copter vertically and no runway needed and uh, very small landing places needed and it can be suitable for any kind of environment, any kind of place. This is a very versatile plane vehicle for mapping, for inspection and other purposes like FPV. Well, let's see what's in my hand is our new radio, the T12 radio coming from the new Nimbus combo. Well, you can see actually we mounted a very small, tiny camera right here. And it is a, like a very uh, good resolution camera and uh, coming together with the T12 receiver inside here, we see the antennas. Well, it can transmit directly the video back to the receiver and then it shows up in the, in the pack. It's very easy, you, you can even choose to record a video from here. So you have the video recorded for the remote video and also you can take a photo in this way. So it can help you to see where the plane is going and also can help you to enjoy the view in the eye. Well, let's check here. Uh, if you press this button here, it can be smaller window right here. And uh, in case you are using a QGC or similar software app, from the on the pad, so you can then uh, directly see all the data here, and then you can still see the video right here. It makes the things very convenient and very easy. Okay, in my hands there are two batteries. One is a lipo battery, high discharge rate but heavy, and one is a lithium ion battery, uh, low discharge rate but light. So. This one, the Lipo battery, is suitable for taking off and landing, and this one is suitable for cruising in the fixing mode, and which makes the flying time quite long, because lightweight. Okay, so I'm going to show you how the PG20 system works, and there are two input voltage poles right here. The one is having the big plug, it's XT90 plug, and because this one is made for the taking off and landing, and this is the, actually the secondary battery input port. And even you input this one, the system doesn't work properly. So we need the other battery to like give in the system like a uh, boot up or something like that. So after Everything is done. Let's wait a bit until we have the video showing up right here. Okay, now we have the video and we actually assign a, a three position switch for the Q hover, Q lighter, and also the cruising. And let's put it to cruising. And then we actually see the PG20 have a LED, has an LED inside showing red and green flashing and then we put it to kill hover it's showing the constant blue and the green flashing meaning it's working properly okay the pg20 system works in this way 
During the landing and taking off, it's using a high discharge dipole battery, which has a capacity up to 2,200 mA. And uh, during the cruising um, phase or cruising procedure, it's using the low discharge but the light lithium ion battery. And the interesting is actually you can remove that battery, but the system still works perfectly. It's not like a parallel working, but it's a truly switching. You can even use the different kinds of battery, maybe the 6S, maybe 4S, it's all okay. So let's now remove the main battery to simulate the situation that you actually lose one battery in the flight. Still work okay, still work properly, because we're still having one battery right here. Then we plug it back. And then we remove this battery. You can see nothing happens. The whole plane is still working properly thanks to the PG20 power swiping board. But you can see actually it has a green LED showing flashing inside, showing it's only one battery left. So uh, in case you lose one battery, then the air does not land immediately. Okay, let's uh, plug it back. So I assume this one will I will give it goes a constant blue and uh, making it quite quite working properly. And then go back to the cruising mode, just like this. And when it's cruising in a fixed mode, by using this battery, you can actually discharge maybe up to 95% of the power because you don't worry about low voltage could affect landing. Because if you, your battery have a very low voltage, only by using one battery, landing could be very, very dangerous for you. So by using this one, even you discharge the lipo battery, this ion battery, to 18 volt, but you switch back to the Q-hover mode, then the system will switch to using the lipo battery, which is almost full, maybe 24 or 25 volt still. So the two battery system, the PG20, for the VTOL can greatly help you to enhance the flying time and also the flying safety. And I hope you like it. So today I have the great honor to show you the new version Nimbus VTOL, the Tricopter VTOL, coming with the new radio, the T12, coming with a very small camera as standard, and the video data and the RC range of the T12 can reach over 10 kilometers, up to 20, and it comes with video, data, everything you need, and also switches, and also small joystick right here, and then your Nimbus can be greatly helpful in those jobs like this inspection, like mapping, and other maybe FPV fan things. Okay, thanks for watching, hope to see you in next video.